As a longtime fan of Dragon Ball, I've seen everything that the series has to offer. I've seen the anime, I've read the manga, I've watched the movies, and today we're continuing with another movie character. Turles from the Tree of Might is making his debut as a Masterly's figure. Before Goku Black, there was Turles. But is Turles as good of a figure as some of my Goku Black ones? Let's find out in today's review. What's up guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video and today we're continuing the Ichiban Kuji for history of the film with Turles. But like always guys, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, ring the bell notification so that way you get notified whenever I upload a new video. I try to upload every week. Like the video if you enjoy it and of course, comment your thoughts down below in the comment section on this figure at the end of the review so we can discuss it. I'll, I'll admit, Tree of Might is not one of my favorite Dragon Ball Z movies. In fact, I don't really as an adult, I don't really like a lot of the Dragon Ball Z movies conceptually. They're more like condensed rehashes of different arcs and sagas of Dragon Ball Z. They do introduce some really cool characters and designs. That's what I really like the most about them. And I think that's what a lot of us really like about them. Uh, Turles was never one of my favorites. He's an evil Goku, more or less, <laughs> but I still like Turles. I'm still super excited for this figure. So without further ado, we'll dive into it. We'll do some size comparisons, give some background on the figure, all that good stuff. And then of course, a rating at the end out of seven Dragon Balls. Let's go. This figure is based on Turles from the Dragon Ball Z film, Tree of Might. Turles holding his fruit from the Tree of Might is pretty iconic, but the closest reference I could find to his pose is this Dokkan battle art. Ichiban Kuji is a limited run lottery system created by Banpresto. These figures are usually exclusive to Japan and will have their overseas or Ichibancho versions released in limited quantity, if at all. The prizes vary from art boards, towels, phone straps, or a plush, but the most sought after prizes are the figures, and usually the last one prize is the most valuable. This this set consists of Super Saiyan Gohan, Super Saiyan Goten, Cooler, Meta Cooler, Turles, Super Janemba, Beerus, and Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. This Kuji set was released in Japan on August 4th, 2022 and will not have an overseas release. There are no variations of this figure currently. You can find them on eBay or Facebook collecting groups for about $115 to $125. This figure is made of PVC and ABS. He stands at just about 10 inches. Turles comes in three pieces, his upper body, lower body, and support for his foot. This set continues to deliver with another masterpiece. His likeness is fantastic. A lot of its qualities remind me of what I loved about Goku from the World Tournament Super Battle Ichiban Kuji. His eyes are a little more rounded, the scouter is a nice touch, and he just oozes that Toriyama style and spirit. Paint and shading are perfect. In fact, I think Turles has the best use of shading in this entire set. His armor has more of a matte finish, but his skin has an amazing use for shading to not only make him pop, but replicate his coloration and art style from his movie. Size and scaling are perfect too. I'd say that he's maybe a little taller than I expected, but if he is about the same height as Goku, then this should be appropriate. He's also a pretty chunky boy, so I didn't expect how wide and girthy he'd be. Finally, the sculpt is amazing. His muscles are pronounced to perfection, his armor has been put together well, the little details on his fruit look great, and of course, his scouter looks fantastic on him. I love his hair sculpt as it doesn't have any indication of separation and just looks awesome. Overall, this Kuji is on its way to not only being the best one this year, but possibly my favorite of all time. Turles is a must-have from his sculpt, 
size, and expert shading applied. If you're a fan of Tree of Might, then don't miss out on him. I'm giving him 7 out of 7 Dragon Balls.